Hi, in this video I will show how prepay billing works in Splinks version 1.2 and for other versions. Uh, we choose the, the customer first and uh, each customer has a type of billing now. Uh, recurring payments is a default settings where we have uh, different settings when we disconnect the customer and when we send the invoice to, the, to him but we can change it to prepay and it means that customer will be built prepay only. So here's the payment method the settings changed and we can change it to bank transfer. Minimal balance means when we block the customer. When he reached the zero, we block him. And we can make invoices every month for his services also. So I'm adding the payment of $20 for that customer. Comment is payment in advance. And now customer has funds on his account. So we can see it on uh, the services are empty now, but on on the billing information we have $20 on his account, on his deposit. Okay, I'm adding a new service which costs 40 US dollars per month and it means that this customer will be able to get access for half of month. Here it will change every day. Every day we count the amount of money which we need to charge customer and we reduce his balance. So what will happen on day two? On day two let's find the same customer and check his balance. Here, if we click on billing, we see that instead of 20 US dollars, he has less now. And in transactions, one transaction was created and this transaction will be updated every day. So we charged 1.29 this customer for one day. What will happen in seven days? Uh, Splinks will calculate it accordingly. And here we can see on the billing on his balance that uh, his balance reduced. And uh, we charged nine dollars in that case, it means the charging for seven days. And when customer will reach zero, Splinks will block him. Thank you for your time.